So here we are at Barron Lake in northern Canada and tomorrow we set off on our canoe trip, our 10 day canoe trip around the Barron Lake circuit. Um, the weather is absolutely fantastic here, it's about just early, early evening now and uh, in the morning we're going to pick up our canoe, our canoe equipment and uh, take it up to the, the National Park Rangers office, have it weighed and then we'll be setting off with a 3k portage to Kibbe Lake. Here we are, it's day one and uh, we're in our cabin, it's about half past seven in the morning and the cabin's a mess as I'll show you in a minute. We uh, tried to pack all of our food into a box last night and took it up to uh, the weighing scales at the ranger station and found that we're just not going to be able to manage the uh, criteria for the rangers. So we're going to have to repack everything this morning, put all the food into a rucksack and see if we can get it down to the £60 weight for the canoe. So what we're going to try and do now is sort this mess out and I'll show you what the place is like a bit. Quite a useful bench in the cabin actually because we'd be able to sort ourselves out and spread ourselves around. We've got to get this lot into packs and there's more in the car and somehow we've got to get this place cleaned out and on our way by about 12 o'clock. Well we'll do it. But we will do it Brian won't we? We'll do it. It's uh, one of life's little challenges. This is the worst one. Well, at least I hope it's the worst one. Yeah. Because it's the heat as well, isn't it? It's hard work. So you can see what I look like as well. And uh, a bit drippy. But there we go. We're going up we were going up faster. I mean we were steaming along. Maybe we need to think about going a bit slower or something. But it's difficult because you're trundling it just, over it's these the lumps, isn't it? You, yeah, you've got to keep you your keep momentum, momentum going. Yeah. Where's all the bumps, is it? Yeah. <sighs> so here we are. We asked for it, so we got it. Oh Brian, where are we here at the moment? We've uh, just completed a portage and uh, as you can see it was uh, pretty hectic. We're now at the start of the circuit. We're at uh, Kiwi Lake and it is an uh, absolutely gorgeous day. And uh, it's got to get easier from now on. Well, 
this is the start of our trip. We've just paddled along Kibby Creek. Brian's demonstrating his perfect sense of balance in the canoe here. Look at that, a not a waver, nothing. Land here we are, floating in the lake and... Land of the silver perch, home of the beaver. So what we've done now is, we've uh, done the first portage, gone in, launched in Kibby Creek, and we've just paddled across Kibby Lake, which is a beautiful little lake, and we've just arrived at the second portage, and we've decided that we're going to stay here this evening. We've got a breeze coming off the lake at the moment, which is going to keep the um, insects down. The sun's going to go down um, in front of me this evening. Um, it's going to be pretty good. Brian reckons we might get some fish tonight, so we're going to try for some fish. We've got great northern divers, or as the Canadians call them, loons, on the lake. We've just been calling, we'll probably hear those tonight. This was pretty crowded a few minutes ago. Um, there were about four, three or four boats here, about six or seven people all continuing on to the next set of lakes, but we've decided to stay here, so it's gone quiet now, and it's great. So the moral of that, listeners, don't drop your bottle. So what are you doing, Brian, anyway? <laughs> well, I'm just pumping this. I'm trying to remove the little bacteria that causes beaver fever. The last thing we want is beaver fever. Other people might think differently. So we've got the tent up now. This is Kibby Lake, first night in the woods. And uh, Brian's sorting out his fishing gear and it's about six o'clock over here. And uh, things are going really well. So here I am on the lake being Brian's gilly. Gilly, I like that word. Yeah, and as you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful evening. It's dead calm. We've just seen some beaver. There's some loons on the lake, which never call when you're recording. And it's all good stuff. This portage, not as difficult as the first one, but uh, we still got out of breath, didn't we? We certainly did, Brian. So we're looking now to uh, crack on, have a nice long paddle today, and uh, get on to Isaac Lake. So, what do you reckon over in the corner there, then, Brian? Not the woodpecker trying to drill the hole in the... I can't spot any markers anywhere. Yeah. Left hand corner there.
So where are we now, Brian? We're on Isaac Lake. We're about... Uh, we've just started the southern leg of uh, Isaac Lake. It's about 32k to go. It's a really long lake, this one. What are you doing, Brian? I'm making you a stew, Michael. All right, okay. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Hopefully, the mashed potato will arrive right shortly. Show this to anybody and call it a wilderness film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Here we are in the wilderness in a concrete. Um, yeah. <laughs> Fried eggs and uh, fried spam. Yeah. That'd be alright, wouldn't it? So Brian, what's that thing you've been walking along with in your hand? Well Michael, let me explain to you. This is a bear guard. And if a bear comes, what you do is, you squirt it straight at him. Um, you have to be about 12 foot away for it to be effective. Naturally, I will be long gone before <laughs> I'm 12 foot away from this bear. <laughs> Here we are uh, along Lake Louise and it's hot and there are a lot of flies and we've just arrived at this campsite and uh, what I really want to do now is jump in that lake and have a good swim but it's a choice between that and being bitten by the deer fly so at the moment I'm resisting the temptation and I'm wearing a towel like this over my shoulder you can see Brian was pumping water at the moment he's filtering water we're really having a problem with water because it's so hot and uh, he's working away clarifying some water for us because we're, we're going through a hell of a lot of it at the moment
How many eggs do you want, Brian? One or two. Good stuff, then. Good meal. Two eggs on a layer of spam. Excellent. Right, we're on Isaac Lake, we're well down it now, we uh, set off this morning, we paddled for an hour and a bit and had a break and powered, paddled for another hour and a bit, we're just where we are now, we're just in a nice little bay, we've got a bit of shade and uh, the only worrying thing is that we just found a track of a bear, which I'll show you in a minute, just one, but it's fresh. So we've got the bear thing out again, just in case. So uh, it's a bit tense. There we go. How are the horse flies, Brian? Well, fortunately, there's none around me, but there's a lot to seem to be a lot around you. Uh, I think Michael. it's because I smell like shit, Brian, <laughs> as you said yesterday. As I said yesterday. <laughs> So what are we going to do guys? It's up to you. You do what you're comfortable with. This is just the foot of them and they fall about 14 meters. You wouldn't want to go down there in a canoe. So we came down the portage and this is our first river section of the trip. Uh, we're looking forward to it. And all we're going to do now is pack the canoe. So here we are at Lake McCleary, it's a really hot sunny day so we decided to stop here and uh, take it easy for the day. We've just done a couple of portages and a little bit of a river run, we haven't done a great deal at all today. 
But it's such a nice little place that we've decided to be stopped. We hope nobody else will come tonight. We'll have the place to ourselves. I'm going to go for a swim and I'll show you around. So here we are in our log cabin, and I'm cooking on our our our, our pig stove on top of our wood burning stove because we, we cut that on too hot. So this this is an original old cabin built by some old gadget trap from. It's quite nice, nice to be able to come in here and stay. As I say, we're cooking in here, and tonight we're having smoking sausages. And curried onions. Isn't that nice? I mean, what more could a man want after a hard day paddling a mile and a half? So here we are on the Caribou River. It's slowing down now because it's going into the lake, we think. So what we've done this morning is left Mackenzie Lake, ran down the Caribou River, which unfortunately we couldn't film. We were a bit worried about the rapids and bits and pieces, so we weren't able to film that. We're on Lanese Lake now, which is a long narrow lake. It's very silty, but we just stopped in this spot, which has got fresh water running into it, which is great because one of our big problems has been water. A few days ago I think we got pretty badly dehydrated, we weren't really putting enough fluids into ourselves and uh, we were feeling pretty tired. Yesterday we had a fairly quiet day and we spent a lot of time doing some washing and just relaxing and we feel a lot better for it now. We've also got a lot more liquid into us now. Um, so what we're going to do probably today is paddle along to the end of this lake, it's quarter past eleven now, and find a campsite a bit further on and um, settle down for the night and then tomorrow we'll run down the next section of the Caribou River into a network of lakes and portages. Again we've got brilliant weather, it's been really really good and um, apart from the fact that we have to constantly keep our eye open for, for bears and things when we're, uh, when we're stopping in places like this when we've got food out um, and the black fly which are a nightmare and they're all over you all the time. They give you a really nasty bite. These great big deer fly things are horrible looking things. Um, things have been pretty good. good. Well we're having our breakfast and then I think we're gonna move on again. There we go. Well, I think I'll have some of that nice, delicious Canadian porridge oats with maple syrup stuff. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but definitely a cup of tea. Okay. Tea's on its way. There you go. Here we are in Sandy Lake and uh, it's woods on this side, thick woods. 
We've got a sandy beach and quite a wide, wide lake over the other side. You know, obviously, a couple of other people. It's a really nice spot, nice clean campsite. Bit of a breeze blowing, few, few mosquitoes, but apart from that, it's great. Okay. So, what, what, what's happening? What's all this about then? Well, we're having a light supper. It's such a, a warm evening that we've decided not to do anything hot for our supper. We're just having a, a cool jam and, and pitta supper. Um, I've got to tell you, the pitta's are a bit dry, but passable. We've had some lovely sausage as well, haven't we? We have. There we are. We there. The, I'll just cl jam. zoom in on the lovely sausage. Yeah. And as you can see, we were very enthusiastic big. about it. It was too big, even for us. You know, flat then, or are you going to turn it over with your hand? <laughs> I'm not going to risk it because it's yours. Actually, this is good. Is it? Mm. Yeah. I tell you, soggy. Yeah. Bad enough, it'll be alright. We've had an extra cup of tea, giving ourselves a treat. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> the beauty of it is, it's such a nice night that we feel as if we can relax. That's right, and it's we're very informal, aren't we? We're not dressing to for dinner tonight, are we, Brian? No. No. And it's not like, um, and it's not like being in the army where you have to, as you can see. <laughs> so for the bear attacks, we just leave it, yeah. <laughs> What we've got here are, are sweepers. These are called sweepers. This is when trees fall into the river and lie across the river. These aren't particularly in fast moving water in this sort of river. It's not so bad you can see them coming miles away. Fallen trees which have been washed down river, then you get the, the stumps of the trees sticking up through the water and often you only see a river but there's a very, very big tree underneath the water. If you hit it, you basically cream it. So um, there we are, a sweeper. arrived at Babcock Creek, a um, little narrow creek off the main river and we're going to port to Archer 1.2k. Uh, there are some other people behind us, uh, they, they're just about to unload and start the port arch. Um, it's a really nice spot, brilliant view behind um, the mountains. And uh, as soon as I finish talking we're going to start hauling this canoe and its kit along this trail. So there we go.
we're just having a cup of tea. As you can see, it's a red hot day. We were really, really de dehydrated. So um, we're just having a fine cup of tea. And then um, I might even have a kip. There we go, right. So here I am standing by my tent and just looking up to this pretty picturesque log by the side of the thing there. And then we zoom in a little bit. The texture of this log is really, really nice. So this is the uh, last night of our trip, it's day 7 today and uh, this is our last campsite before we finish on the Bowering River tomorrow. Um, we're in a sort of marshy, big marshy meandering river area now, we've sort of got away from the mountains and uh, we'll work, we work our way down the river tomorrow and then we'll be uh, on the last lake and a big paddle across the lake and that's it. We'll be done a day quicker than we thought we would because the weather's been so good. And um, generally speaking, we've had a brilliant trip. Well, it's some interesting, there's an old cabin here, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, and uh, but it's, it's, this is an entirely different sort of character, this, 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 this environment, to the one that we've seen so far on the trip. So we'll just have a bit of a look around. Must be some sort of meat safe. Keep the flies off, keep the food outside, keep it a bit fresher. We're just paddling down the Bowering River. Um, I just left our last campsite, which was a nightmare for mosquitoes. We started running around this morning with hoods up and basically trying to sort ourselves out a little bit. Um, 
This is the last stretch really. Uh, this river is very, very different to the other ones we've been down. It's uh, going through a sort of lowland area surrounded by um, bush. And this is perfect company for bears apparently. Um, but I haven't seen much this morning. Um, we told that we often see quite a lot of wildlife down here. Right, we're just back, uh, we've just hit the original place we started off, we've crossed the lake, seriously windy, it's stopped now, it's raining, but seriously windy, we had big waves on the lake and uh, it was a bit of a struggle that last four or five miles was a bit of a struggle, um, we'll be back now, we piss wet through, uh, and what we're looking to do now is find somewhere to get changed into something decent, I mean my clothes are absolutely hacky, and so is Brian's, and um, sort ourselves out a bit. We'd like to think we'll be able to get a shower some, somewhere, but we'll have to have a look around and see. But we're going to go and get a cup of coffee in a minute, which will be the first in uh, eight days. Okay, so that's the end of the Bowron Lake adventure.